Today I'm going to show you another 1989 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figure called Ace Duck. And the version that I have, uh, I believe, is the first version ever released, referred to by collectors as Hat Off. I'll just take off the case so we can get rid of the glare. Okay, so in this version of Ace Duck from 1989, you can see his hat is over to the right with the belt and weapons. Later releases of the Ace Duck figure put the hat on his head and actually put a little hole on the top of his head so that the hat would sit on it properly because apparently they discovered that the hat didn't really sit on his head very well without a hole in it. Um, so this is uh, the rarest of the Ace Duck figures, although I have heard that there are Ace Duck figures with hat off and the pop-up display, although I haven't seen any of those. Um, I'll just show you the back of the card. This is a, oh, this is a surprise there. Um, I thought it was going to be another 19 back, but I forgot. This is actually 14 back, that's right. It was actually one of the first figures released after the first 10. So the first 10 obviously being the Four Turtles, Splinter, April O'Neil, Shredder, Rocksteady Bebop, and Foot Soldier. Then the second wave, they released Genghis Frog, Ace Duck, Baxter Stockman, and Crane. Now, the interesting thing about Ace Duck is that there's a whole crazy bio here about who he is and what he does, but he never actually appears much in the cartoon, the first animated series. The only time he appears in it is when Michelangelo is watching... Uh, an Ace Duck movie marathon. So it was kind of strange that one of the first figures they released after the first ten was a very, very minor character that barely even appeared in the show. But there you go. There's my Ace Duck figure. Um, Mint on card with hat off.